at Manchester United. It's time for our transfer rater. But before we get to a lot of the rumours, we've got to get Mark Ogden to wade in right here because there's quite a few rumours coming up about Manchester United. One of them is a Jaden sancho Rafinha swap deal. We're also seeing Jean-Claire Todibo to Manchester United. That's the new centre-back. Well, let's start with the fact that there's quite a big caveat there, isn't there, Mark? Yeah, the big caveat is that Man United haven't got any money. So that is the big kind of roadblock to them actually spending some money in January. And the reason they haven't got any money is that they are very FP because they overspent um, in summer 2022. They overspent wildly and they didn't bring enough money in commercially. So that's why they've got a problem. So unless they can offload a player and, and then bring some money in. So the options are Jaden Sancho. Well, obviously, we know that Jaden Sancho seems to be heading for the exit door, but let's be honest, who's going to spend a lot of money to sign Jadon Sancho? Because they know that he's damaged goods in the sense that Man United aren't playing him. So United are going to get a real kind of low offer for Sancho. Maybe Casemiro, Rafael Varane might head off to Saudi Arabia if the big money deal comes in, but I don't see that happening either because I'm hearing that Saudi Arabia and pulling it pull back in a little bit in terms of January window. So if United can't get anybody out, they're not going to get anybody in. Now, may get 20, 25 million for Sancho if they're lucky, but that won't happen 1st of January. That might happen the 31st when people know that United are desperate. So, yeah, the negative word for Man United fans right now looking for a big January spending spree, it's just not going to happen. It really isn't. And the reasons are United can't do it. They'll breach FFP and that'll put them back even further. All right. So let's move on to a team that hasn't got anything to do with Manchester United then right now because Janish, and this will combine your love for watching Serie A as well and obviously how strong Inter have looked this season and how strong in particular Hakan Chalinolu has looked. And the fact that he has, has got Tuto Sports saying that the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea will be looking at a player like this to try and convince him to come away. Now, it's just a rumour. It's coming from the Turin Press right now, but you can understand why that rumour is there. He says he wants to stay at Inter, but do you think he would be swayed if a big Premier League club were to come in? Not in January, for sure. Too much to play for is the Scudetto, as we've mentioned. I think, you know, I, uh, uh, in terms of Champions League, I think they're one of the favorites uh, to get to the final, and who knows? Uh, I mean, we saw how close uh, Inter came to Manchester City last season. They can play just as well, if if not better. And, you know, that midfield is spectacular. I think Chalanoglu uh, benefits uh, from, you know, the second lease on life, uh, or second, maybe in third with uh, Miki Tarian. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Barella is exceptional. I mean, they lost Brozovic, let's not forget. And I thought he was one of the most important, if not the most important cog in that midfield in, in so many ways. So, no, of course, uh, it's just too much at stake at Inter right now. I think this team is uh, uh, probably feeling like they're unplayable to some degree, even after uh, losing Lukaku. Uh, Marcus Turam has been playing uh, exceptional as well. And, and Lautaro Martinez is arguably, you know, top three, top four in, 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 in the world right now in terms of strikers. So why would you be leaving and where would you go and who could possibly uh, uh, afford you at this moment? Uh, well, we are talking about strikers. Obviously, Ivan Tony's name's coming up, Mark. And let's just touch, if we can, before we go, on what Chelsea's activity might look like in January, because we've just heard Pochettino. Yes, we know how much they've spent, but he has said mm. that he needs more signings in in January if he's able to actually start to achieve the objectives that he's looking to do. Yeah, and he said that, and he was it was kind of mocks for saying it as if to say, look, Chelsea spent a lot of money, but they haven't spent it very well. Well, they still haven't got a centre forward. Um, obviously, Nkunku's close to being fit, but he's not fit yet. So Chelsea are in desperate need of a striker. Um, so are Arsenal. And that's why Ivan Tony comes in. Ivan Tony, obviously, his ban will end. He's banned for breaking betting regulations will end in January. So you've got Chelsea and Arsenal both needing a striker. Again, I'm not quite sure they've both got the money to do it. I, don't think, I think Arsenal might struggle. Let people go. Ivan Tony is the one to watch because... He's the guy that has got a proven Premier League record, top goal scorer. He's fit and going in January. And I think Brentford, you know, they, they're a club that will look to raise money by selling players for a profit. And they'll make a massive profit on Tony if they decide to sell him in January. Final say, if there were the funds for both teams, Janish, if you were Ivan Tony, which team would you prefer to be on? Well, I think I go to Arsenal. Although, as, as I said, I think Mbemo, uh, Brian Mbemo is out now for a considerable amount of time. I, I don't know how they can afford to lose him. That's another thing. Uh, uh, obviously, a, a 
you know, I don't know if you spend tons and tons after a player hasn't played. I, I, I think Ivan Tony can come in and, and do the job, uh, uh, but but I think there'll be a doubt for me to spend tons of money, you know, until I see him play. So, uh, but if I were him, I go to Arsenal because that project is is very close, even this season to actually work, right? I mean, they may be short a player like that, even in rotation, because uh, I think Gabriel Jesus is doing a tremendous job, but it's a different different uh, uh, type of uh, a player for sure. So I, I go to Arsenal. All right, that will do it for the latest edition of ESPN FC Live. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs>